Yeah, she's not going to trade here for, uh... She still re <laughs> refuses to fix that well for, uh, her nephew, Fergus. <laughs> Which is kind of silly, because she's going to fix the well at Solix tribe. It's good to see you again, child. I don't mean to be abrupt, but I see you haven't completed your quest to find the Holy Thirteen. Please, let's not waste time talking. The need of our people is great. Go find the boat. Obviously, becoming a more pressing issue, which is another reason we can't linger too long. She has no more bottle caps. <laughs> and Hakuna can't make any more powders. Unbelievable. She picked all that stuff for nothing. All right. I don't think she appreciates uh, all this pressure. All right. Can't remember if he. Uh, let's see if he's willing to trade. Minoc. He's the one who helped her sharpen the spear. No. All right. We're trying to salvage what we can to build up our food reserves. We're asking why uh, they're not trading then with the other villages. We're simple people have little to offer in trade. The few towns that we've contacted have shown no interest in helping us. You are our only hope, chosen one. Please do not fail us. All right. I'm not even sure how long it's been. Kind of wish we had a number of days. I gotta check that. All right. So back to Solux tribe. Never taken this way before. And this time she's gonna Offer, I guess, a bit of assistance, even with nothing in return, promised. So, uh, I think she'll probably fix that well and help. I think there was a woman by the water. See if uh, they won't do something for her then in return. Yeah, rat scorpions and spore plants. Well, it certainly wants to evade. <laughs> Goodness. What's this? That nasty bunion on each foot seems to have turned into an extra toe. But at least that persistent burning itch has gone away. <laughs> They're calling this wilders. Presumably hostile. Well, I'm just gonna run for it. The long way, I guess. Nope, so it's getting t tangled up. Ecky, ecky, ecky. Yeah, we're drastically outnumbered. Man. Holy cow. It's getting hammered. There's always idiots like you around to mess up a shift. I don't know if uh, Silk's gonna survive here. Where is he? Hopefully, probably not. I must be getting old. That actually hurt.
Woodland and Tribe. Almost looks like there should be more uh, available here. Or is this the same map for Arroyo? All right. Go away for morning. Plus there was this uh, guy who was tormented by spirits. So I think in order to gain favor with the tribe, uh, might want to wait at night. All right. So here was this woman, I think, that <laughs> had asked Lily for her help. Whoops. Now I think she's, again, willing to swallow some pride and maybe uh, offer help without anything in return promised. <laughs> Asking what she needs. I'm running low on wood for this fire. If you could collect more for me, I'd appreciate it. Three bundles of logs. Oh, it's not really her pleasure, but... She's going to do it for the uh, tribal leader. Hopefully she can be granted an audience with him. I think Solik actually already has one. So we have to go back to the uh, wooded area. I think there was rat scorpions here. <laughs> There's one. Yeah, we had picked up one thinking that we were going to use it to <laughs> build a campfire. And then uh, it just never happened. Alright, I think we have three. Yeah, because I think even if they just grant her, let's say, fish, it's just something of value. <laughs> Anything. Like. All right, need to get the other log from Solik. What you be need? I'm assuming. Or she can't carry that much. Still too much to carry. Give him the rope. All right, man. Alright, giving her the uh, firewood. Excellent! This will help me keep the fire going. I don't really have anything to repay with, though. <laughs> it's not really what you wanted to hear. <laughs> yeah, I think Lily's gonna complain about all the splinters. Well, take this money. I have no real use for it here. Trying to get on the village's good, better half. How much uh, did she give us, though? Don't really, s can't really tell. All right. I really like to steal that fish. <laughs> okay. What you be need? All right, she needs the road rope back. Okay, I think the well needed a rope and a bucket. We'll see if we can speak with the elder. So I think we put the bucket in a urn. Yep. So we didn't lose it. All right, Lily, looking at the well. Happen. Oh. Missing its rope and bucket, so... Tying the rope? Well, at least it has a working rope now. And uh, affixing the bucket. That should just about do it. <laughs> You've already fixed this, remember? Alright, looks like it's working. 
I think he was in charge. Marley. Thanks a lot. The well works great now. <laughs> so I think he was guarding the elder. Heard about the good deeds you've been doing. This is what she was hoping for. See, I was wrong about you. Forgive me for being a rude man, friend. Go on in and peep the big man. He be waiting for you. Still won't barter with her, though. All right, that's good. And she doesn't have to speak with, uh, I can't remember his name. The guy who <laughs> smacked her on the ass. All right. Speaking with the, uh, Sulux tribal elder. The old man smokes his pipe and watches her with dull gray eyes that seem to bore into her soul. Motions for her to sit across from him in the smoke... Yeah, the smoke-filled tent. We're most grateful for your services, wanderer. Takes a long hit off of his pipe. The spirits, they have much to say about you. Much indeed. Tell me, what brings you to our village? Well... Both of these are true, and I think she'd ask for guidance on both. Alright, she's gonna mention the Gak. The Holy Gak. Taking a long hit off of his pipe. There's a creature that we sometimes hunt. Sometimes it hunts us. A Gekko. No, I sense that's not what you seek. <laughs> I'm afraid your Holy Gak is beyond my ken. I'm just going to bring up uh, Sulik's sister. Which, of course, she is actually interested in freeing from slavers, I think, at the den. Sulik, nodding. One of our best men. Equally skilled at the art of the hunt and the art of communing with bone spirits. He left us to find his sister, Kurasu. Alright, that's the first time we've heard her name. Who never returned from a nearby tribe. Tell me, child, where is Sulik now? I guess he can't see too well. Alright, tell me Sulik to come in. Sulik and the tribe's chief exchange greetings. It brings me great pleasure to see Sulik again. The Bone Spirits told me he had fallen into trouble. But what of his sister, Kirisu? Alright, so explain it to the Elder that she's been captured by slavers. He closes his eyes for a long time, and just <laughs> as we think he might have fallen asleep, he begins to speak. The slavers are led by a man with a dark soul, Metzger. He dwells in one of the ruined husks of the Old One's cities. They call it the Den. Then he opens his eyes. Perhaps he's holding her there. The bone spirits say no more. Alright, so at least we found a name. Metzger. But I think we knew that uh, she was in the den. Boy, still unable to trade. I think she'll ask. But uh, that really, she was hoping for material help. Alright. Who's that? That's Sulik. Guardian. So if that's the tribal leader, here was the head warrior, I think. She was curious if uh, she could hire him. I think we'll speak to him last. So, wondering then if this is the... like the witch doctor. Well, like Hakunin is, who had trouble at night. Because uh, if she could help him, then maybe he could make her healing powders. Please leave me alone. <laughs> Save yourself. No. So, you know what? I think, I think it's worth uh, just maybe checking out. I think we'll wait here until nightfall. 
Not sure how late we need to wait, though. He said that he was visited by spirits, I think. He could hear them outside the tent. <laughs> he appears to be alone now. Nope. Yeah, maybe we'll wait with him. Till midnight. <laughs> 